We can now name the murder suspect that's still on the loose this afternoon. Police say Roderick Jones Crawford shot and killed a man last night in southwest Albuquerque. As News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports, the deadly shooting started as a fight. Crystal now joins us live in the Newsplex with more. Well, Mike, Jones Crawford is facing a slew of charges, including an open count of murder, but police still have to catch up with him. Here's a picture of the murder suspect taken last May when he was arrested for robbery last night on the 600 block of Baton near Corzin Bridge. Police say Jones Crawford and another man got into a fist fight when Jones Crawford pulled out a gun. According to witnesses, the victim put his hands up and told the murder suspect there was no need for a gun. Eyewitnesses told police Jones Crawford pointed the gun at the victim's face and pulled the trigger. Now, today, flowers and candles are laid out where the victim died in his front yard and just feet away from where the suspected shooter lived. The two men were neighbors. The suspect's roommate told police he saw Jones Crawford walk into their apartment and change clothes before he he left on foot, then he threatened him not to tell police. Now, this added on more charges to the warrant, including tampering with evidence and intimidation of a witness. Now, again, this is the man police are looking for today. We spoke with friends of the family and family of the victim. They are mourning today, and they're very distraught at this time. They said they did not want to go on camera with us. They say right now they just want to make sure police do catch the man that killed their loved one. Back to you. Right in his own yard. Wow. Okay, Crystal, thank you. Now, the victim's name has not been released. It was eyewitness accounts that led police to ID the suspect.